let's discuss question number two. So T of N is small o of this and big omega of this. Small o means it's greater than or equal. So, so this is, uh, sorry, without equal. So uh, big O means that this is an upper bound. And this is a lower bound. This is our lower bound. And this is our upper bound. And this is an exclusive upper bound. This is an inclusive uh, lower bound. Oh, so could it be this? Yes or no? Yeah. No, because because this is exclusive because this is exclusive so it can't be this now how about this this is the lower bound so it ranges from this n log n cube so because this is inclusive so this is yes n okay now how about this yes or no yes now how about this so is this greater than or smaller than n log n power 5? This is greater than. This is, it has this little polynomial. So, so this 0.01 is greater than any logarithm. Okay, so the n power 1.01 is equal to n multiplied by n 0.01. And this thing is greater than any logarithm. Okay, so this is yes. Now, about this? No, this is no, because this is greater than this. This is 2.5 multiplied by log n. This is the 2.6 is n 2.5 multiplied by n what? Yeah, 0.1. And this 0.1, this 0.1 is greater than the log n. So the 0.1, n power 0.1, this is polynomial, this is log n. So the point one is greater than the log n, which means that this thing, the 2.6, is greater than uh, two, n power 2.5 multiplied by log n. Okay? All right. So any questions on question number two? Okay. So let's discuss this. So we have two algorithms. One is algorithm x with this asymptotic complexity and why with this asymptotic complexity and this algorithm algorithm x is run on a machine with this speed that executes 10 power 7 operations per second now the question is what's the machine speed for that we need to run this algorithm on in order to get the same execution time now will this speed be higher Will it be greater or smaller than this speed? Why is it? Why does it have to be greater? Yes. Yeah. Because the algorithm complexity, the complexity of this algorithm is greater, so it's a bigger asymptotic complexity, which means that this is slower. This is more operations, more complexity, more operations. A slower algorithm. So in order for the slower algorithm to match the execution time of the faster algorithm, the, the machine, we must run it on a faster machine. So the equation that we use here for these questions is time equals number of operations divided by machine speed. This is the equation that we use for all of these uh, problems. Now, 
the time for x t sub x equals the number of operations for x is n squared log n divided by s1. By the way, I always, you know, prefer to work with symbols and then, um, you know, I, uh, at the end, I, I substitute the numbers. So this is n squared log n and this is, you know, ty equals uh, n cubed divided by s or let's call it s sub x. And this is S sub Y. Okay. Now, what's the next step? They're equal. So they, we need them to be equal. So we need, we need TX equals to be equal to TY. That's what we need. We need the time, the times to be equal. So we equate these. So we say that, you know, n squared log n divided by s sub x equals n cubed divided by s sub y. Now, what do we need? We need s sub y. That's what we need. So, in fact, you know, before we do that, we can, we can do a simplification. You know, we have this n squared. And here we have n cubed, so this becomes n, right? So we divide by n squared. Dividing both sides by n squared, the n squared goes away, and now we have an n, okay? So now what we want is to solve for sy. So sy is equal to n over log n multiplied by s sub x okay and this is um, you know n is 10 power 6 now we substitute the numbers and what's log n log n is log 10 power 6 base base 2 so we assume by default that the logarithm is for base two. Now, you know, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter, uh, it, it doesn't much matter because uh, we can convert from one logarithm to another or from one base to another by multiplying by a constant. But let's always assume that the base is two and we need to know, you know, the common powers of two so we need to know uh you know 1k which is um uh, you know 2 power 10 1k is 2 power 10 and that's uh 1024 or approximately 10 power 3 okay and we need to know 1 mega so I expect you to know these is 2 power 20, and this is approximately 10 power 6. And in computer science, you know, 1 giga is 2 power 30, and this is approximately 10 power 9. So we need to know these powers of 2. So this means that log 10 power 6 base 2 is approximately equal to what? One. So this is now we have an approximation. So this is approximately equal to 10 power. So not 10 power. It's uh, log in is, uh, you know, uh, well, okay. So let's do it in one step. Okay. So this is log 10 power 6 base 2. And then it's multiplied by s sub x which is 10 power 7 and that makes it uh, you know 10 power 6 divided by 20 multiplied by 10 power 
7. So 10 power 6 divided by 20, that's 100 divided by 20 is 5. So it's 5 times 10 power 4 times 10 power 7. Or uh, 5 times 10 power 11, what? What's the unit? Yeah, operations per second. Okay. So basically, uh, you know, in order to uh, get the same execution time as the fast algorithm, the machine has to be 50,000 times faster. You need a 50, a machine that's 50,000 times faster in order to get the same execution time for the, uh, for the uh, worse algorithm or the slower algorithm or the more complex algorithm. So this algorithm is more complex or slower. It needs more operation or it, uh, it performs more operations to solve the same problem. This is a faster algorithm or a more efficient algorithm. Uh, questions on this? You know, these calculations are important. Why? Because they give us a feel of, uh, you know, how uh, these asymptotic complexities relate to actual, to the actual execution time and how much faster, uh, you know, is a certain algorithm or a certain efficient algorithm compared to a less efficient algorithm. So this algorithm turns out to be much faster. It's 50,000 times faster for, for, uh, for this input size. Of course, it's a, it's a function of the input size. So for this input size. Okay, uh, questions? Yes. Yeah, so log 10 base 2, so that's, uh, so it, it, 10 power 6 is this. This is 10 power 6. So 10 power 6 is 2 power 20. So what's log 2 power 20 base 2? That's 20. Yeah, so... 2 power 20 and 10 power 6 are the same thing, or approximately the same. Yeah, do I have the, yeah, I have the approximation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, questions? <laughs> 